Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Florida Grand Prix Pro Bikini Masters results. This was a good one. Lots of amazing competitors, a whole bunch of age divisions. So cool. So as a reminder, we've got three more shows coming up this weekend. The Optimum Classic, the Indie Pro, and the New York Pro. Some huge shows. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. Okay, so typically this is when I tell you how the show works for qualifying for Olympia, but the Masters divisions don't earn points. You have to qualify by earning points in the Open divisions. But I'm still going to focus on the top five, and it's still impressive nonetheless. So starting with the 35 plus, in first place was Angela, second, Maesha, third, Jacinta, fourth, Larissa, and fifth, Sophia. So here's Sophia in fifth place. Oh, she looks so good. She's got a fabulous shape to her glute, really nice muscle in her leg. I think she's got a really lovely hamstring, nice amount of definition coming up the side, beautiful oblique. I think she's got a lovely delt, um, though I do feel like she could pose a little bit more, I guess, firm on the top. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. I just feel like she could pull up this shoulder and, and kind of have the shoulders more level, and maybe that would help to um, have the arm a little bit more relaxed looking and really highlight the hourglass shape. But I think she's got some beautiful muscles. I love the green suit. That, I think green looks so good with the dark tan and her dark hair. She looks really lovely. Beautiful conditioning as well. So a fabulous fifth. Okay, next is fourth place, Larissa, in a beautiful baby blue suit. That's a more unusual color. I think it looks lovely. Uh, she's got, first thing I noticed was her calf muscle. Her leg looks really nice. She also has some nice definition in her quad as well. Um, beautiful obliques, holy smokes, really nice small waist. I think she's doing a great job of showing her hourglass shape. Um, beautiful upper body, nice traps even, right? Like just gorgeous. Uh, I do feel like she could have a little bit more size to her glute just to really create that exaggerated shape and just have a bit more curve to the back of the lower body. But overall, gorgeous. Okay, next in third place is Jacinta, who you might remember from the Atlantic Coast, where she also got a second place in the 50 plus. So she's doing really well. Um, super flat midsection. Holy smokes. Really nice abs, great obliques, very tiny waist. And it really makes her hourglass look sensational. Just a great curve to her back beautiful broad shoulders. Um, her definition is nice. You've got a little bit of this line in her leg. Her delts have a <clears throat> really pretty shape. I wouldn't mind a little bit more definition myself just to show a bit more of the six pack, maybe a little bit more detail in the leg in the back. But I think overall she looks really lovely and the purple suit is nice. I like her hair. She's got a bit of volume, bit of curls. She looks really nice overall. Okay, next in second place is Maesha, and she's looking really good. I, I'm liking her definition a lot. Really chiseled oblique. The line is super easy to see coming down her leg. She's got some detail in the back leg. Her arms look super lean, right? Really nice curve on her delt. Wow, she's her conditioning is really good. Um, I think she's got a really nice lat as well, so the hourglass shape looks really lovely, nice curve, beautiful hamstrings. I do think that she could have a bit more size in her arms. Um, the shoulders look really nice, but I feel like there could be a bit more bicep and tricep. Um, but otherwise, I think she looks really good. It's a it, unique color for the suit. Again, it's not as bright as a sapphire blue. It's not as bright either as a turquoise, it's, but it's very pretty and it looks really nice with her skin tone. I like that her hair is off her shoulders, so I think she looks really good. Okay, and now in first place is Angela, who I think has such an athletic 
appearance. She looks really buff. Her conditioning is fantastic. She's got abs. She's got obliques. She's got lots of detail in her legs. She's got detail in her hip, her beautiful detail by her kneecaps. Like you're just seeing lines. You're seeing the muscle poking through. Her delts look amazing. She's got beautiful curves in her arms. I just think she's she's really nailed it. And she's got a great shape to her glute. And her posing is really nice. She's really showing off the hourglass. And her upper body is open. The shoulders look beautiful. The lats. I think she's fabulous. The red suit is lovely. The dark hair is awesome. It's a, it's a very well-deserved first place. So everybody side by side, I think Angela really stands out. Her posing is right on. She looks relaxed. She looks confident. She's showcasing the hourglass. Her arms look kind of in a natural way. Um, like I find Sophia's arm is a little bit too curved. Angela's is just straight. It's just it's just beautiful. She looks really, really good. And she's got that gorgeous definition and detail in the side of her hip as well. Um, maybe you see what I mean about our second place winner could have a little bit more um, size in her arms. Jacinta could have a bit more conditioning. Larissa could have a little bit more curve to her glute, particularly, you know, when you can see compared to Angela. But Matt, like it was really good. This is a very fabulous top five. And from behind, I think Angela, again, definitely has that special something. Her glute ham tie-ins are really prominent. She's got a gorgeous shape to the top of her glute. You see a really nice amount of her quad sweep. You see some nice definition where her hamstrings are. And then you also see a tiny waist with a really nice open upper body. So the hourglass is gorgeous. I think both fifth and fourth place could have a bit more leanness. There's a beautiful round shape, but not enough of that glute ham tie-in showing. Um, our second place winner, even though her hair is short and it allows you to see her shoulders, I do think you are seeing quite a bit of leanness in her back and perhaps she could use a bit more length just to cover even even a little bit more down her back. Um, Jacinta in third place, I still think that the conditioning could be a little bit more just to, to show off the delts a bit, to show off the back of the hamstrings, although I think her waist looks really small and she's got a nice hourglass. So overall, everybody looks really fantastic. It was a very nice, beautiful top five in the 35 plus. Okay, moving on to 40 plus. In first place, Angela. Second, Maesha. Third, Jacinta. Fourth, Betty Jean. And fifth, Larissa. So there's going to be quite a lot of repeats here, and I'm just going to cover from now the new ladies in the top fives. So we've already seen Larissa, and here in fourth place is Betty Jean. So she's been competing a few times and getting a top five placing. I think she looks beautiful. I'm liking this suit color, a very lovely turquoisey blue. Um, she's got a also, similar to Angela, a very athletic look really buff muscular arms, uh, really nice defined obliques. She's got a bit of a six pack showing through, beautiful curve in her legs, nice definition in her hip, in her quads, gorgeous calves. I think she looks really, really good. She looks muscular. She looks fit, um, super athletic. I think her posing is nice. Her arm looks beautiful down by her body. She's holding her shoulders a lot more level in this picture than she was here at the San Antonio, and I think it looks really good. She, it highlights the hourglass. It highlights her symmetry. She looks fabulous. Okay, next in third was Jacinta, second, Maesha, and Angela again in first. So again, essentially almost the same lineup, just the addition of Betty Jean. You can see how beautiful everybody looks. I think Maisha's posing beautifully in this um, photo. You really notice her hourglass shape. Betty Jean, you notice her abs, her beautiful shoulders, that nice definition. But again, I think Angela, you know, she's just, she's got the posing, she's got the shape, she's got the silhouette, she's got the definition. She looks really good. And from behind, um, I think the reason Betty Jean didn't place higher, even though she's got that more athletic, muscular look, is from behind, she doesn't quite have the glute ham tie-ins like the others. And I think the hourglass, her waist doesn't come in quite as small, for example, as Angela. So I think Angela really has 
a sensational physique from behind. Okay, so moving on to 45 plus, we've got Celia in first, Angela in second, Maesha in third, Jacinta in fourth, and Betty Jean in fifth. So you'll recall Betty Jean, Jacinta, Maesha, Angela, and here we have Celia in first place. Oh, she looks really good. She's really petite. She's really tight. She's got gorgeous shoulders, really nice um, curve in her arm. I think she's got beautiful abs, uh, really nice flat oblique, uh, well, flat midsection with a nice sharp oblique, um, beautiful detailing in her legs, nice curve to her hamstring. Like she just looks really good overall. Nice color of her suit. Um, the hair to me could be maybe a touch lighter or a touch darker just to be a little bit more vibrant. The, just the color, the tone. I think it's a nice length. It's off her face. Um, and heck, even a brighter lip I could go with. But overall, I think she looks really, really beautiful. All right, so here's everybody side by side. You can see um, everybody looks really good. I think the obliques are really fantastic on these women. Celia looks super, um, f just tiny, really small waist, beautiful leg, really nice amount of muscle. Let's check out from behind. Okay, so here's where I think Celia stands out. She's got a gorgeous hourglass shape. Her glutes look super round and full, particularly on the sides. She's got a really nice sweep and roundness to her quads. Beautiful definition in her hamstrings and the nice glute ham tie-ins. Then you add that with the tiny waist, the really full, wide, broad shoulders. And I think she just kind of looks spectacular. I think Angela is a close second beside her, but Celia just has so much roundness and fullness in her glutes. I think it was really beautiful. Okay, now in the 50 plus, here we go. Celia in first, Angela in second, Jacinta in third, Betty Jean in fourth, and Trisha in fifth. So here's Trisha in fifth. We last saw her at the Hurricane Pro in the top five, and she's done it again. She looks beautiful. I like this red suit. I like the lipstick. Her hair is lovely. She's got a little bit more volume this time than she did before. She's got some fabulous shoulders, really nice round shape, great lats as well. So she's got a really beautiful hourglass gorgeous curve and fantastic definition. I love all this detail in her quad, in her calf, by her kneecap. Her obliques look really good. Oh, I think her definition is fantastic. Um, perhaps she could have a little bit more of the six pack showing through on the front if that is even possible. But otherwise I think her obliques look amazing. She's got just a gorgeous shape. She looks really, really fabulous. Next, we had Betty Jean in fourth, Jacinta in third, Angela in second, and Celia in first. So here's everybody side by side. Don't you just notice Trisha's beautiful shoulders? Gorgeous. And from behind, again, Celia right next to Angela, you can really see how petite they are, the tiny waist, the beautiful definition, and the hourglass shapes from behind are quite spectacular. I think Trisha looks really good from behind as well. She's got a nice size to her glutes. All right, and now in 55 plus, we have Trisha in first and Janet in second. So here is Janet in a gorgeous bright kind of bluey turquoise bikini. Um, she's got amazing obliques, really nice flat stomach with a small waist, beautiful curve to the back leg. I think her quad looks really nice here. Um, quad looks nice here as well. I think she could have a bit more curve to her hamstring and certainly a bit more size and curve on the top of her glute. Uh, I think her waist looks really small. Her posing is very flattering in this photo. Nice open lat, beautiful shoulders. So with just a little bit more size on the lower body and I think she would just be spectacular. And then once again, Trisha in first place. 
So here are the ladies side by side. I'm so impressed with the obliques and the midsection, so small. Um, I think Trisha has beautiful conditioning. I like that you can see all of the detail. Um, Janet has a, a lot more of a smoothness and a softness to her conditioning. And uh, I think Trisha kind of nailed it. I like her how easily you can see the, the outline of her shoulder, her abs. It's beautiful. And then from behind, both ladies have incredibly small waists, beautiful shoulders. I'm, I'm really drawn to Trisha's hourglass shape here. I think Janet is perhaps pinching her arms a little bit. She could kind of relax those elbows. Um, Trisha's got some beautiful glute ham tie-ins, really nice detail in the back of her hamstrings as well. Janet has some gorgeous roundness to her glutes as well as her quad sweep. So very beautiful. And then finally in 60 plus was Janet in first place. So overall, a very fun and exciting, beautiful master's competition. And this weekend, we've got three more shows. Don't forget, we've got the Optimum Classic, the Indie Pro, and the New York Pro. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with recaps of those shows as soon as I can. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.